Hello, this is going to be my review of a budget-friendly action camera recently purchased on Amazon. This is the Polaroid ID757 picture here, uh, shown here, with the accessories that uh, were with the camera, and of course, this box showing the name of the camera, the Polaroid ID757 action camera. I'm going to keep trying to keep this review short because there's really not much to talk about, and actually the settings on this camera are very minimal. I just have this uh, port a little... Uh, port open here just so I can show you it's kind of difficult to take off uh, this little um, piece here to to access the area with the memory card and the USB cable so that's just why I have it hanging out here like this so first of all this camera dust proof design meaning that the the lens won't get dirty because there's a glass covering over it so you can just wipe away any dust uh, from the lens very easily that's very cool supposedly waterproof but I'm not going to fully submerge this camera you have a space here for the for a tripod if you have that accessory. This is the Polaroid ID757. So what can I say about this camera? This is really a situation where you kind of get what you pay for. Like I said, there's some amazing things here that you might have just uh, heard me say, like the dust proof design is, is very cool. It means you can put this in your pocket. It won't get dirty, uh, put it face down somewhere because you can just wipe the dust and he smudges away right off the lens. Very, very nice. Second thing is that it has a fantastic internal microphone. This, I think this is the microphone. So any audio that you're recording with this camera, maybe something you want to make some commentary, really one of the best internal microphones I've ever seen. So if you're too close, you're speaking too loud. There's no, um, nothing, nothing happens. There's no change in the way that the audio is perceived. It's, it's just very good quality microphone here, which is very surprising on a $30 action camera. That's how much I purchased it for. Good microphone, dustproof design, very lightweight even with the battery in here, the battery that we can't remove. Did not uh, did not come with a micro SD memory card, but we have one here. I had one already, so I inserted it here. Just keep in mind that you would have to buy a micro SD card, micro SD memory card separately if you don't have one. Um, dustproof design, great internal microphone. Pictures are just okay in my opinion, and really what you'd expect from a cheap action camera that takes pictures. Video quality, um, while the audio is fantastic, the audio recorded with this little cheap camera is great. The video quality, I don't find it to be very clear. The frames per second is not terribly high, so if you're, if you're, if you're filming something and there's something moving by very fast, it's not going to really pick that up too well. I think there's not that many frames per second. Minimal setting, just one video resolution setting. I think it's 720p, but I will just say that if, if I zoom in on the video quality, if I have it full screen on my laptop, I can see that it's not very, very, very clear and the frames per second is not very, very smooth. That being said, it's kind of, you get what you pay for. Fantastic, uh, just a starter camera, uh, especially dustproof design and light rain. It should withstand some light rain, but I'm not gonna fully submerge this camera. I'm happy with it. Probably not gonna use it as a main camera, but for, for a video where I really wanna talk, this camera does record audio very well, in my opinion. Now, one other thing I'm going to say, so there's just some basic accessories here, like this case, which I'm not really going to use, because to, to access the area with the USB uh, port, uh, the memory card, that area to charge the camera, you have to take off the case, so I didn't really see the point in having taken on and off, on and off, on and off every time. Um, but that's that. this is what the case is for. You can just kind of put this around where you have the... Um, uh, the buttons so it just kind of case goes around like that anyways so you see this little there's a little button here that says reset don't know if you can see it it's kind of dark here i do apologize for that there's a button right here that says reset and one one thing that is unfortunate is that when i when i took the camera out of the box it wasn't it wasn't turning on at all when i was charging it it also there was no indication that the camera was functional it wasn't really turning on so th th there was a light there was a light here when i was charging it but it wasn't turning on, so I was afraid I'd have to return it. So, but what I did was, as a last resort, I I I, I inserted a thin object here to the reset button, and I heard a click. Magically, then the camera started working. So, if you buy one of these cameras and it's not turning on, but if you plug it in with the USB cable and it is charging, there's a chance that if there's a reset button, you might want to try that. And that ended up really saving this product because then I didn't have to return it. It started working. So you just push something in here, push something in, maybe like a little paper clip, something, and then you hear click. Try turning it on then, and then it works just fine. So that's how we ended up here with this review. The product is working, fortunately. And then to close this, you just kind of go here. There you go. So one one resolution setting. I'm not going to show it here. Um, 720p, I think. Very easy to use. I really, really like the menu. Very, very simple. And again, it records audio very well. Dustproof design. There's one thing interesting I'm, I'm going to say is that when it, if it's too sunny outside, the camera's not going to really pick that up very well at all. 
Uh, today it was cloudy, and then for a portion of the day it was very sunny, so I recorded when it was sunny. And the camera, it was almost, uh, <laughs> the camera didn't really do well in the bright sunlight, which I thought was strange, because cheap action cameras usually do best in sunny conditions. But you know what, it's fine. So when it's a little bit lower lighting, not very, very sunny, like maybe even cloudy weather, the camera does very well uh, compared to when it's sunny. But unfortunately, the frames per second and the actual quality itself doesn't seem to be crystal clear. But again, keep in mind, if, if you're paying $30 for an action camera, the expectations generally, at least for me, are not very high. This, is in my, this has been my review. I'm happy with this purchase. Not my favorite action camera. Um, I do like the AEE camera better, the one I have, AEE Life uh, Silver Action Camera. Um, but I will say that it's it's not a bad purchase for me because I do like the audio quality here. Dustproof design, which means I can carry it in my pocket. You can always wipe dust off here with your finger. It's nothing's going to happen to this lens. So very cool. Not my favorite camera, but the video tests will follow if you're interested to see what uh, the video videos look like. Photos can also follow. So you can decide for yourself if you think it looks good, but that's going to be the next part of this video. Video and photo test. This has been my review of the Polaroid ID757. Action Camera, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. This is a review, just my opinion, and that is it. Only my opinion. Video test and photo test will follow. Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid ID757 Action Camera. It's sort of, sort of drizzling a little bit. Here's the camera we purchased on Amazon recently for $29.99. Uh, and then there's, of course, any tax and shipping costs. A little bit of a drizzle here, but we have this dustproof design. Um, waterproof design so in, in, in light rain I think the camera will hopefully be protected from the rain given the design according to the box it should be waterproof it's not going to submerge the camera but I will have the camera out in the light rain so hopefully nothing will happen this is a cheap budget-friendly action camera with no stabilization only one resolution setting for video so don't expect to see any sort of fancy features here as you can see this if you go to the unboxing video. Very minimal accessories, USB cable. There's a case. So here it is, budget-friendly action camera with no stabilization. I think there's some water on the lens, but you can just see here for yourself. Do you think the video quality looks good? How well can you hear me right now on this uh, camera? Thanks for watching this video. Just a, just a um, video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Not too many features here, just photos, videos, and that's it. <clears throat> Hello, this is another video test. W only one resolution setting here, available on the Polaroid ID757 action camera that we recently purchased on Amazon. Here it is, we're recording with this budget-friendly camera dust proof design, waterproof design, so that in a light rain, a light drizzle, the camera should hopefully be protected against the elements. Dust proof design, so there is a glass kind of hard plastic covering over the lens, so the lens will not attract smudges and dirt, and you can just wipe off any dirt off the lens. Very nice design, you can put it in your pocket. This is the Polaroid ID757, I actually didn't know that Polaroid made action cameras, but here it is. This one, just the cheapest one that I found for $29.99, that was the price that we purchased it for. Here it is, recording with this budget-friendly uh, action camera. Right now, how well, can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is on this cheap, budget-friendly action camera? Polaroid ID757. There's some water on the lens, I apologize for that.
this is another video test and audio test with the Polaroid ID757 budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon. I really like the audio quality here. The built in microphone seems to be picking up audio very well, so I'm just making another video test as it gets a little bit less cloudy here on this Sunday afternoon. November 13th, I believe, 2022. Just enjoying this, this very cool day. Sunday. It's a little bit windy sometimes. This is a video test and audio test with the Polaroid ID75 7 action camera. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is? One video setting, keeping it very simple here on this action camera. I was very surprised to see only one video setting, but that's actually kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any, um, any, um, doesn't seem to be anything here that is misleading. It's not going to say, oh, 4K, and then it's just going to look not very good. It's just one setting, and that's it. All you have to do is press the record button. We have a mode button to go between photos and videos. Very cool. It's nice, very easy to use. I kind of like that. I've never seen a video camera with only one resolution setting, a cheap action camera, that is. So this is the Polaroid ID757 action camera. So far, very impressed with the, the built-in microphone the audio quality of the built-in microphone. No stabilization here, just one video resolution setting and that's it. Dustproof design, so you can put it in your pocket. It's not going to get, not going to attract smudges and dust of the lens. There's a covering over the lens, so that should protect the camera from dust and maybe some light rain. Though I'm not going to fully submerge the camera even though it's supposedly waterproof. Again, this is the Polaroid ID757. One video resolution setting, no image stabilization, just the just the basics here with this action camera of course you can maybe spend some more money and get a maybe an upgraded version of some of these cheap cameras but this one is just really about just one setting that's it cheap around thirty dollars but dust proof design which is very cool no micro SD card included so you have to purchase a micro SD memory card but I am very very happy with this camera so far especially the audio quality which makes it a good ca uh, camera for making videos with audio commentary things like that again this is a video test with the polaroid id757 cheap budget friendly action camera very excited to, to review this footage to see if the audio quality is still good with the built-in microphone dust proof design i really like that i like the ability to just to put the cheap action camera in my pocket and not have to worry about attracting uh, smudges dust ruining the lens there is some kind of glass heavy plastic over the lens to make sure that it is dust proof so you can just wipe away any dirt right off the lens with your finger, no problem at all. Very cool. Polaroid ID757 action camera. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day. Hello, this is a video test and audio test with the Polaroid ID757 budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon recently. Video test and audio test, Polaroid ID757 action camera. Video test, audio test with the Polaroid ID757 budget friendly action camera. No image stabilization, just one video setting. Very simple, very simple camera. Polaroid ID757. Action camera video test, audio test. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is? This is it. Polaroid ID757 action camera. Hold
Polaroid ID757 budget friendly action camera. Video test and audio test with this camera. No image stabilization. Only one video setting we have here. <coughs> video test and audio test with this budget friendly camera. Polaroid ID757. This is a video test and an audio test with the Polaroid ID757 budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon recently. One video setting, one video resolution setting, that's it. Dust proof design. This is a video test and an audio test. Audio test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Hello, we are here once again with the Polaroid ID757 cheap budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon. This is both a video test and an audio test. Hopefully, you can hear me right now. One thing I will say about this camera, the Polaroid ID757, is that the built-in microphone seems to be very good, probably the best out of all of the 15 or 16 action cameras I have. This uh, built-in microphone is, I think, the best. Uh, captures audio very well, no external microphone plugged in. And considering that this is a dustproof, this has a dustproof design, waterproof design, that's quite incredible that the audio is not muffled. So this might be a good camera for making videos of commentary. So we'll see how this test goes. This is an audio test and video test put the Polaroid ID757 action camera. I'm the camera down right now like that. So only one video resolution setting here with this camera. I think it's 720p. Nothing too fancy. Really not a lot of settings. Barely any video settings. But this is the Polaroid ID757 action camera, the cheapest one sold by this seller. I actually didn't know Polaroid made action cameras, but I guess so. Just testing this camera, video test, audio test, Polaroid ID757. Very minimal settings here. Like I said, just one resolution setting. There's no like, oh, 1080p, 720p. I think it's just 720p. I think the product description on Amazon. So that is it, that just this camera, I mean just this setting that we have here. Audio test, video test, can you hear me right now? Uh, in the test I did, I think the built-in microphone is very, very good. Sorry it's a little bit cloudy today. I'm home from work and I'm here again and it's cloudy weather, so that, that just is just what it is. Polaroid ID757 action camera, budget friendly, purchased on Amazon. $30 before taxes and shipping, etc. Once again, this is a video test and audio test with the built in microphone, the Polaroid ID757 action camera. <coughs> Put the camera over here a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Polaroid ID757 action camera. Polaroid ID 757 action camera purchased on Amazon cheap budget friendly action camera <coughs> with the built in microphone audio test. <coughs> Thank you.
Hello. Hello, this is a video test, audio test with the Polaroid ID757 cheap budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon recently for $30 before taxes and shipping. Just just to test to see how well can you hear me right now, how good is the audio quality with this uh, built in microphone on this cheap budget friendly camera. The Polaroid ID757. Only one video setting here, I think it's 720p, just one video resolution setting. Let's just turn the camera here a little bit. This is the Polaroid ID757. Budget friendly action camera. <coughs> Purchased on Amazon. There we go. Video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. 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 One resolution setting we have here. One video resolution setting. We're just walking around making some videos. Polaroid ID757. Action camera. This has been a video test with the Polaroid ID757 budget, cheap, budget friendly action camera with very few settings. Audio test and video test. Hello, this is just going to be one final video test with the uh, Polaroid ID757 action camera here. Even though this camera has doesn't have any stabilization, I'm just trying to keep the camera still to see how much shake there is. Again, this is the Polaroid ID757, a very interesting action camera. Cheap budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon with a dustproof design and a very good internal microphone. However, what I've noticed from looking at my sample footage is that the frames per second doesn't seem to be very high, so the video is not as smooth as it could be. It's not very clear, but nevertheless, I'm, my expectations are not too high when I spend $30 on an action camera. This particular camera, before taxes and shipping, was purchased for around $30 by me. So this is just a video test just to see if I'm holding this non-stabilized camera as, 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 as steady as possible, if we can avoid any shake. Sometimes what I notice with these cheap cameras is that with no image stabilization there can be a lot of shake. But interestingly enough, this one seems to be stabilizing it sort of okay based on what I can see in the on the screen. So let, we're going to transfer this footage to our computer and we're going to see if that's actually the case. Is there any sort of even just a little bit of stabilization here possibly even though Officially, this camera has no image stabilization. Again, this is the Polaroid ID757 entry-level cheap action camera with uh, with a great internal built-in microphone, but not the best uh, not the best number of frames per second. This is just a test of the capability of this camera to not shake too much. Hopefully, but this will be the last test 
before it gets dark. It's just walking around trying to keep the camera as still as possible. Video test with the Polaroid ID757 entry level budget friendly action camera. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Video test. I think the I think the resolution setting uh, described I think it's described as a 720p resolution. But I will just say it's not the best 720p resolution I've seen. It's not very clear and the number of frames per second isn't very good, but nevertheless, good uh um a good uh, my internal microphone, dustproof design, very very convenient to put in the pocket. So this is at the Polaroid ID757 action camera. But we were just trying to keep the camera still, see if it's possible to to have the camera not shake too much. Just a few more seconds for this video test. Trying to hold the camera still, and then we are going to. Uh, to stop this video test for the day. Stop testing the camera for the day. Thanks for watching this video. This has been a video test, another video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera.